Cameron, the f uh, Flames coming off an overtime loss in Philadelphia on Tuesday. Post game, Daryl Sutter noted there wasn't much defense on either side, so you can expect the Flames and Sutter's D to get back to basics this evening. To get you set for the game, let's go to the rink in Buffalo where we find Ryan Leslie. Thank you, Carolyn. Yes, this marathon trip for the Calgary Flames rolls on, as you mentioned, game five of seven. And, you know, they picked up four of a possible eight points on the board. That doesn't exactly uh, make them overly happy. And what also maybe steams their greens is the fact that uh, they've left some points on the board. Five overtime losses this season, including two on this trip. Andrew Mangiapane said, look, we're not happy about it, but we know we can get that part of the game back on track. Sean Monahan, keep an eye on him tonight. He has 17 points in 14 games against the Sabres. Maybe he can kind help them get that offense rolling again and as far as the Buffalo Sabres are concerned yes the Jack Eichel era is indeed over as everybody in the hockey world knows he has been traded and he went to Las Vegas and the uh, Sabres did pick up some key pieces a couple of big draft picks a couple of real prospects in Peyton Krebs from Calgary and obviously Alex Tuck very established and obviously not playing right now due to injury but that is a key piece and a key trade for this uh, organization and this fan base that dearly wants to move on and get things going Don Granado saying listen we have to focus on five on five play you don't have to be a superstar to score I have to remind these guys that they can score any different way okay it's the Sabres and it's the Flames from Buffalo. TELUS Flames Hockey on Sportsnet. Brought to you by TELUS, the network that gives back to help connect Canadians in need. Let's make the... Downtown Buffalo where the Flames continue this road trip at the Key Bank Center. Rick Ball with Greg Miller on the broadcast booth. Glad to have you with us. Calgary looking to bounce back after that overtime loss in Philadelphia a couple of nights ago. Go right back to Jacob Markstrom. He was terrific in that game. Stopped 41 of 43 shots. Leads the NHL in shutouts. Fifth in goals against average. Sixth in save percentage. At the other end, it's the Watson Saskatchewan native Dustin Tokarski. You know, found his way back to the NHL last season with Buffalo after five years in the minors. And he's coming off a career high 45 saves in Buffalo's win in Pittsburgh on Tuesday. You know, interesting, Greg, in the aftermath of that game in Philadelphia for the Flames, 2-1 overtime game. Daryl Sutter not happy with his team at all defensively, and I would suspect we see a tight checking game here in Buffalo tonight. Well, maybe not the giveaways that we saw in the second period for sure. The coach didn't like the attention to detail in that game. This one is underway. Glad to have you with us. Puck at the Buffalo blue line. Played to center. Kachuk reaching in for it. Knocked away from him by Cousins. Back inside the Calgary zone. Cleared out to center ice. There's Kajula. And he'll feed it into Cousins. Knocked off his stick. Batted away by Rasmus Anderson. Cleaned up by Gaudreau. And he'll skate it out. Chopped off his stick. Miller feeds it ahead to the Calgary line. No further. Here come the Flames the other way. Gaudreau checked again at center ice. Flipped into the zone by Hinnestroza. Cutting across the line now with the puck. Stolen again. Here's Gaudreau ahead to Kachuk. Gains the zone. Drops it off. Gaudreau had a ton of jump in that game in Philadelphia. Puts it in front. That was knocked away by Tokarski. And Gaudreau has to reset back at center ice. Drops it to his defenseman. And heads off on a change. And another good start for him. That was a good shift. Career high 10 <laughs> shots on goal against the Flyers. He was everywhere. There's a steel, steal by Jurgensen's trying to break through. Cut off, though. Throws a check on Tanev. Puck to Eakin in the corner. Plays it all the way around. Pesic pinching. Spinning off the wall and knocking it away was Coleman. And now Backlund feeds it ahead. Gets it back. Tries a shot on Tokarski. Makes the save. Rebound sat there for a moment. But Darlene able to clean up and settle it down in behind his own net. And make a pass to Oposo. Flips it down the left wing. Jurgensen's chasing. Gabranson rides him into the corner. Puck caught up in their feet. Bounces in behind the Calgary net. Zadorov hits Coleman. And he'll have a chance to get it out. Carries to center ice. Trying to shake the check of Eakin. Dumps the puck in in the process and heads off on a change. There will be a basket full of rebounds tonight. So you better go to the net because you're going to get them. And let's see if Calgary will be able to do that. Sabres work the puck in down the wing with a shot that goes off a stick and deflects high in the air. That was Asplund breaking in. Now a battle on the corner as top line comes up for Buffalo. Tage Thompson check. Lucic drops it back. Stolen though. Here's a chance for Skinner with a shot. And that deflects off Markstrom wide of the goal. Puck comes back to the boards, to the line and out. It couldn't 
Hey, couldn't keep it in, has to reset back out of neutral ice. And the reason I say that is Tukarski is a blocker, and kind of an old school blocker, gets in front of the puck, but he's more concerned about the first one than the second and third, and there'll be rebounds available if the Flames could put the puck on net. Puck dumped in deep, Pitlick up on the four check. He's out there on this line with Dubé and Monaghan. So Monaghan and Backlund switch spots, and Pitlick and Lewis switch spots from last game. Same lineup, different combinations up front. There's a shot tip just wide by Pitlick. Tana puts the puck to the corner. Dubé throws his shoulder into his man. Pitlick feeds it around. Hannafin pinching down the board, sweeps it back to Monaghan. Passing all the way over to Tana. Here's Dubé, high slot shot. Blocker saved by Tukarski, steers the puck to the boards. Fed in deep. Pitlick got it behind the net. Darlene took it away. He'll play it across to Rootsalainen. Knocked away from him. Flames keep it in the offensive zone. Here's Pitlick again with a shot. Tukarski way out to challenge, makes the save and squeezes the arm to the body to hang on. And no rebound there, a good save at the one end, and at the other end, Skinner with the first good chance for the Buffalo Sabres after a giveaway here by Lucic, and a little touchback, and that one just, I don't know, Markstrom might have got a piece of that, and at the other end, here's the first good save for Tukarski as he does make sure there wasn't a rebound, but he did look behind him. Face off one by the Flames. Zadorov makes a play to Kachuk, puts the puck in wide. Lindholm trying to get there, taken away by Cousins, steps around Kachuk, and away he goes through center. On the wing, Kajula gets it back from Miller. Off the way, fed ahead, off the glass, and the puck goes out of play. Well, we talked about Goodrow in his game on Monday. I mean, he was spectacular. As you mentioned, Rick, 10 shots on goal. He was all over the place. And I liked his defensive play, too, there. There's a good example of it. But he did everything but score, and Hart, the goaltender for the Philadelphia Flyers, was absolutely spectacular in this game, as was Markstrom at the other end. A real goalie battle. Yeah, in a 1-1 game that went to overtime, the goalies were two of the best players on the ice. The other one was that guy we just showed. And he has the puck right now. Johnny Gaudreau bumps it back to Chris Tanev over to Shillington. Another point for him. Got the only Calgary goal in that game. 11 points his last 11 games for Oliver Shillington. On a tear right now. In front. There's a backhand pass. Tukarski down. Able to keep it out. Here's Shillington. Feeds it over. Kachuk shoots and that's blocked. Back in front with a pass. It bounces right to Lindholm. Here's Tanev. Down the boards to Kachuk. Back to Lindholm. Off Kachuk to the boards, Tanev there, Gaudreau to the line to Lindholm, poked away, puck up, stick lifted, and Hinnestroza able to finally get it loose to Kajula. Back to Cousins. Kajula around behind the net, out the other side, he'll cycle the puck in deep. Hinnestroza tied up by Shillington, that allows the Flames to take control as Lindholm will stop along the half boards and drop it in behind his own net, and both teams make changes here, as just past the four minute mark in the opening period. Pass through center, tipped in. Tukarski out to play it. Plays the puck to the corner to Haig, under pressure, ahead to Oposo, takes a bump, but protects the puck and makes a pass across. Butcher trying to feather one through. Gergensen's trying to break in. Stolen and cleared out by Markstrom, and back come the Flames on the counterattack. Coleman to Mangiapane with a shot, and he whistled that one high and wide. Puck comes around to Gergensen's. Coleman on him. Jurgensen makes a play to Oposo, swatted away by the long reach of Zadorov deep into the zone. And Mangiapane, he's been a little quiet the last couple of games. I expect him to have a big night in this one. Offside on the long pass will send the faceoff back to the Buffalo zone. As we're just shy of the five-minute mark in the opening period. Yeah, the Flames play catch here in the Buffalo Sabres zone, and the bouncing puck just doesn't get through. And you can see the way Tukarski plays. I mean, he'll go down, he'll swim, but he's got a great second effort. And then there's Man Mangiapane with his first good chance. And he let that one rip, just didn't hit the net. Off the draw, Sabres to the line and just out. Lucic bumps it back. Controlled by Hannafin across to Rasmus Anderson. On the wing for Lucic, carries in to the circle with a weak shot, turned aside by Tukarski. Puck in behind, Pesic knocks down Lewis. Now they both fall to the ice. Puck under the pile somewhere. Skinner's there, hassled by Brad Richardson. Jeff Skinner able to get it away, and he'll play it all the way over to Asplund, who carries down the wing. Darlene heads to the front of the goal. There's a long pass to backside door, back door, looking for Skinner, but he couldn't get a stick to it. Now the Flames have numbers the other way. Lucic in, Hannafin goes to the net. Lucic stop, rebound, and that bounces wide of the goal. All the way back to the line, and Tanev has to retreat out the center to take control. Makes a play to Lewis. He'll gain center ice and dump it in. On goal, blockered away by Tukarski. Bounces all the way back towards the blue line. Monahan's there, gives it to Shillington, feeds it across to Tanev. 
Pass finds Dubé off his skate and in. Controlled by the Sabres, Robert Haig. Far side for Bjork. Off his stick and out. Regains control. Retreats. Takes a look. Carries out. Puts it on the wing. Flipped in deep now by Hayden. Good Branson back to it for Calgary. Ahead to Dubé. Fires a pass to Shillington. Hard, hard one to handle, but he one-hands it out. Back to Dubé, who carries through neutral ice. Puck bounces high off a stick. Batted down by Dubé in a battle now, deep in the Buffalo zone. Jab free by Miller. Dubé stays on it. Taken away. Roots a line and check. Can't get the puck out. Miller makes a short pass to Hayden, and he's able to lift the puck to center ice. Bounces back inside the Calgary end. Good Branson there to take control for the Flames. I really like the pace of the Flames here early in this period. They were going at the moment. Kachuk chasing after the puck. Plays it around behind the net. Cut off down low before it got across to Gaudreau. And the Sabres, Miller, whips the puck up the boards and out. And Estrosa there. Now Kajula. That goes off a Calgary leg all the way across. Pass in front. Didn't quite work. Off a flame into the corner. Chipped in behind the net to Lindholm. He'll find Gaudreau out near the line. Has to retreat. Kajula in pursuit. Gaudreau plays it across. Now the Flames break out for them to center. Here's Johnny Gaudreau. Three on two. Gaudreau into the zone with a pass in front. That's broken up and winds up on the boards. Gaudreau gets it again. Here's Kachuk, and that stopped. Tukarski doesn't know where it is. He gets a whistle. The puck came free, but it's blowing down. And a good look for Matthew Kachuk on a setup by Johnny Gaudreau. 12 and a half minutes to go on the first. Best chance of the game so far off the stick of number 19, but Tukarski with the answer. Still goalless in Buffalo. Well, somewhat of a new look for the Buffalo Sabres. Obviously, we touched on it off the top of the show, and as everybody knows, no more Jack Eichel. But here is a look at how they've done with and how they have done without their former captain. And you can see the numbers, but certainly all kinds of optimism here in Buffalo about the pieces they got back to complement what they already have. A reason to think that maybe Kevin Adams has a competitive group in a short period of time. Guys? All right, Ryan. You know, Milsey, it's also just getting a distraction out of the way. Like, what is Absolutely. going to happen? The wondering how it's going to shake down. Who are we going to get? Suddenly that's settled. Now you can just look forward instead of backwards, right? It affects the market. It affects the players in the locker room. Face-off won by the Flames. Out shooting Buffalo 8-2 as Shillington gets around a check. Pass in front broken up. Now he has to scramble back. Oposo takes a bump. Puck kept in by Shillington. Colleen flushed out from behind. And the four check by Pitlick. Now he'll skate the puck to the line and make a play to the Calgary line. Lifted in deep. Oposo on the forecheck. Dubé battling, trying to work the puck off the boards. Monaghan gets control, drops it back to Shillington. He'll feed it over to Tanev. Rolling, but able to flip it out. And onto it is Monaghan. Backhands the puck in deep. Stays up on the forecheck. Line mates go to the bench. Sabres have the puck. Eakin bumps it back into his own zone to Miller. His pass in the feet of Oposo at center. Gets it back from Skinner and softly dumps it in. And Buffalo starts a change as yeah. Hannafin circles. Yeah, no line matching here. Both coaches just rolling over four lines. Backlund down the wing. Shoots looking for a tip or a rebound, but the puck went wide in the corner. Anderson activates. Down low. Now it's back to the line. And Anderson able to recover as Coleman was backing him up, but he pinched as well. Flames get away with that. Work it back in. Backlund to the corner to Mangiapane. Behind the net to Backlund. Out the other side. Pressured. Taken away. Dodged the check. Was Tage Thompson. He's able to backhand the puck to center right to Asplund, who feeds the puck in. Skinner chasing Good Branson. Makes a pass up the near side to Backlund. Flips one through center for Mangiapane. Kicked it in, but just too far to catch up to it as he was trying to break through. We'll get a whistle as Tokarski hangs on. Score the new Pizza 73 chicken sandwiches, including creamy garlic, spicy ghost pepper, or classic. Also available in new plant-based. Learn more at pizza73.com. Well, Coach Sutter gave the team the day off yesterday to give them a little fresh legs, a quick morning skate, and with their schedule, I think you'll see a little bit more of that throughout this trip. So they have two stretches of four and six, started with their last home game into the first three in this road trip and the last four another four and six including back to backs on the weekend so it's a yeah. lot of hockey Gray. that's the bottom line they played a ton and a ton on the road yeah I was going to say they've been on the road it seems like all season 
13 of their first 19 on the road, 12 yeah. of them in the Eastern time zone. We and talked you know, about that already on and this And you trip. know they're going to catch up, and there's yep. going to be a bunch of home games where they can really do well and just keep this road trip going the way they have and play some good hockey on the road and then get home and really get at it. 9-2 shots, edge Calgary as we approach the midway mark of the first period. Pesic with a pass to Dahlien. Lifts the puck in deep. Zador off, up the boards, tipped out. Race for it. Lucic gets there ahead of Pesic. Chipped in deep to Lucic in front, and it's stopped by Tokarski on that quick shot by Lewis from a sharp angle. Um, off the shoulder, it looked like of Dustin Tokarski, and cleared back to the Calgary zone by the Sabres. You gotta give him credit. He's been getting in the That's way the right. last couple of games. Boy, oh boy. Made a ton of saves in Pittsburgh on Tuesday. Here's Kachuk on the forecheck. So is Lindholm. Puck fed up the boards, though, and carried down the wing by Kajula, who flips it in deep. Shillington to it. Tanev. Kachuk, long pass to Gaudreau, trying to pull away. Here's Gaudreau, scores! Johnny Gaudreau goes top corner on a partial breakaway and makes it 1-0 Calgary on a beautiful pass by Matthew Kachuk to send him in. Had to happen sooner or later, didn't it? The way he's played the last couple of games, and I knew right away again in his first couple of shifts that he was right back to the way he played against the Philadelphia Flyers. How does he get that puck up so high in a hurry with his hands so close together? Look at his hands. I mean, they're all they're tight together on the hockey stick, and he's still able to elevate the puck right over top of Tokarski. And there's lots of room up top over the glove, and what a goal by Johnny Goodrow, who's been spectacular the last, well, Philadelphia now the first period here. Yep. Yeah, that was a beautiful goal and a great pass to set it up, and Johnny Goodrow gets his fifth of the season as we get a whistle now. 9.17 to go in the first period. Calgary Flames with a 1-0 lead on the Sabres. Key Bank Center in Buffalo. This is Telus Flames Hockey on Sportsnet. For this play to happen, there's a lot of communication before it happens. There's a lot of communication when it happens because that's a blind pass right through the middle to, to Goodrow, tape to tape. And there's that play. I don't know how he got leverage with his hands so close together to get it so high. But look, he hardly looked. And don't think that Goodrow was yelling like mad saying, hey, I'm open through the middle. And Kachuk heard him. But that's a set play that's been worked on long before that goal. 175th goal of Johnny Goodrow's NHL career. Makes it 1-0 here in Buffalo. And the Flames back to work in the offensive zone. Monaghan knocks it loose, but the Sabres are on it. Jurgensen's muscled down, gets it ahead to Oposo, carries out. And following up now is Eakin, drops it off. Jurgensen shoots, and that's off Markstrom and wide of the goal. Either the glove or a toe on that to steer that aside. A bit awkward. He hasn't yeah. had much work. He's been sitting watching the whole period. That's tough. Just three shots, three. huh? Yeah, that's it. 11-3 yeah. in favor of Calgary. And now a puck battle on the far side. Eakin and Anderson all tied up in knots. Finally comes free, and it's worked out by Pitlick. Backhands it in. Flames are changing. Haig takes his time, head up, plays it across to Will Butcher. He'll fire a pass up the middle. Thompson feeds it over, back across to Asplund, knocked away from him, batted aside, but back to the line. There's a pass down low for Tage Thompson as he takes a look. Lost an edge, took a tumble, Zadorov on him, fed around by Asplund, all the way back to the line to Pesic with a pass across. Dahlin walks the line, drops it off. Pesic feeds it over for a one-timer. Turned aside by Markstrom, stopped the rebound, two off Skinner, and he's able to hang on. Well, Markstrom was going the other way on his third save of the hockey game. There's number four, and it was a sort of a broken play coming into the zone. Did it hit something? Well, I think he was just caught going maybe the wrong way and was able to get back with that leg range we talked about the other night. When you've got those great big long legs, sometimes you get away with a few things. And Markstrom, boy, yep. was he good at and Philadelphia, six, too. Six for sure with yeah. those legs. Doesn't hurt. He was terrific at Philly. You know, he started sure was. 41 of 43 in that game. And we talked about it. He and Carter Hart and Johnny Gaudreau, by far the best three players on the ice in a 2-1 hockey game. The two goalies were spectacular. There's a pass by Hinnestrosa that's picked off by Kachuk, and he'll try and spring Gaudreau again. Miller comes back, and this time able to get in front of Gaudreau and knock the puck away. And there's a hit thrown down low by a pinching Kachuk. 
Puck comes loose. Sabres on it. Carry it out. Down the wing. Cousins. Pass across. Finally scooped up and fired from a sharp angle on goal. Stopped by Markstrom. Rebound sits loose. And it winds up getting played past the point man. Bryson who had moved over. And Jacob Bryson goes back to it. 24th birthday today for Jacob Bryson as he feeds a long pass ahead to the line. And it's dumped into the zone by Kajula. There's Lucic. Ahead to Brad Richardson. Banks it out. Trevor Lewis down the wing. Flips it around the boards. Pesic waiting for it. Puts it back in behind, and Dahlin will take control. Tough year last year for the young defenseman. Former first overall pick. Had the worst plus-minus in the league, but he was a plus player coming into the game today. He's going to be fine. You know, he hasn't had a lot of help in this organization coming in as a young player. He's starting to mature now as a defenseman. Sometimes defense take longer, particularly in a situation where there hasn't been a lot of leadership around the young man. Icing on Calgary. Six and a half minutes to go in the opening period. Here's this another pass between these two. And there's the, and it almost worked again. And Goodrow was almost gone. And that was a backhand pass tape to tape. And Kachuk with a couple of dandies here in the first period, one to set up the goal. Coach looks a little calmer so far. Well, I think he'll be happier with the way his team is playing. And he was in Philly the other night. That was a little too loosey, maybe a lot too loosey goosey for Daryl Sutter. Darlene on the puck. Retreats back to the line, drops it off to Kyle Oposo. Darlene again, Oposo shoots. That bounced off traffic, and Markstrom had to get a piece of that and deflect it wide of the goal. The loose puck's lifted up by Calgary. Bouncing in the neutral zone, Darlene quickly ahead. Flames are changing. Oposo works the puck in. The Branson back lifts the stick of an oncoming Giergensen's and gets the puck loose. And now it's Monaghan breaking out. Through center ice, Sean Monaghan into the zone. Pass across the flex off Butcher stick in deep. Dubé gets control. Back to the line to Zadorov. Had to take it on the backhand. And we'll try a shot. It went off Dubé wide. Pitlick up the boards. Zadorov waiting. Over to his partner, Good Branson. Now Monaghan up high. Partially fanned on the pass. Zadorov had to back off wisely. And Eakin carries out late in the shift and dumps the puck in on goal. Being around the center is the way I have in my life. Normally, it might have been the way they were loosey-goosey, but normally it comes down to work ethic. Nine times out of ten when you talk about a center. I played with Brian in St. Louis. I had Daryl as well as a coach. And if they're mad, normally somebody's not working hard enough. Yep. And I can tell you, they backed it up the way they both played. Because well, they I, always did. <laughs> and loosey-goosey and not working hard enough often go together. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'll buy that. Yeah. <laughs> There's Miller back to the puck. We'll feed it up the board. Skinner. Backhand pass across. Asplund in. Chopped off his stick. Bouncing puck. Thompson followed up. Flames took it away. And have a chance to bring it out. Wheeling down the wing is Blake Coleman. Bounces to Backlund. Throws it in front. That goes off a skate. Backlund trying to feather it in front for Mangiapane. That was blocked. Backlund regains control. All the way back to the line of Tanev. In deep to Backlund, lets it come around the boards. Asplund will get to it first. Takes a bump, makes a pass. And it's worked out by Jacob Bryson, who's able to feed it deep into the Calgary zone and turn back to the bench as Oliver Shillington gets control for the Flames. Tipsy Doodle in front of his own net. Long pass up the wing, steered in deep. Stolen by Kachuk, he put it out in front of the open net, but Gaudreau wasn't there. There's a long shot, deflected in front, and it's fought off by Tokarski, and the rebound cleared to center ice. Played in deep by Cousins. Anderson goes back to it, leaves it for Hannafin. Now a chance for Lindholm, but it hopped over a stick, cleared the zone. Sabres on it, Pesic. Fired in, and that's icing on Buffalo. Open your PC Optima map today and load exclusive offers on PC products this holiday season. Well, before this game, Tukarski, 78 of 81 shots he stopped the last two games, 33 of 34 in the third periods. If you can imagine, that's how odd he has been in the goal for the Sabres. He, he was terrific against Pittsburgh. Ten a couple nights ago. in the third period against yeah. the Penguins, didn't he? Wow. Former Spokane Chief. 
Stopped 11 to 12. The one that beat him was that breakaway goal by Gaudreau, and that's the only goal so far in this game. Sabres into the offensive zone. Cousins along the boards, pressured by Goodbranson. Puck flipped ahead, knocked down by Richardson, controlled by Zadorov. And the big Russian will just wait in behind his own net as we approach the final three minutes of the opening period. Lucic on the far wing with the pass. Play back in front for Monaghan, broken up by Butcher, and he'll hit back the other way. Bjork at center. Backhand pass, got it through, worked in by Rutsalainen, shot wide of the goal. Hayden, back to the line, quick shot by Butcher well wide. Haig took a hit, made a play, put the puck to the corner. And it was Dubé who leaned on Haig. Four players battling now deep in the Calgary zone. Flames get control, and Dubé gets the pass and works it out. Chip it in, gets to it himself, has Pitlick in front, pass never got there. Broken up by Butcher. Now Pitlick has the puck. Played it over to the defenseman, Anderson, who moved over, has to race back to it. Whistles the puck around for Hannafin. Noah Hannafin takes a look down the boards in deep. Monahan checked. And the puck off the glass and out as Hannafin has to go back into his own end. Noah Hannafin to Andrew Monchiapani. Now Backlund from the circle. Fires a hard pass to Anderson. Spins around, knocked down. Got a pass away to Coleman. Back to Anderson again. Rasmus Anderson finds Monchiapani. Goes upstairs to Karski. Makes the save. Took it off the shoulder. Loose puck. Flames steal again. Here's Backlund one more time. Shot deflected by Monchiapani. Wide. Back to the line to Hannafin. Hannafin. Rister just wide. Flames keep the pressure on. Puck up the boards. Not out yet. Now it does. Bounce over the line. Mangiapane on it. Teammates tag up. Right back on the attack. Inside the final two minutes of the opening period. Good Branson pinching. He knocks down Oposo. Sabres have it though. And Miller with a chance to get it out. Will flips the puck to center. Zadorov breaks that up. Leaves the puck for Gaudreau just off the bench. Dancing into the zone, gets the puck back. Kachuk's in front. Pass never got there. Blocked by Asplund, fed all the way around. And it's controlled by Big Tage Thompson, who carries out of his own end. He'll swing wide, just inside the Calgary line. Cuts in deep, trying to get in front. There's a pass picked off by Gaudreau. Over to Kachuk, back to Gaudreau. Now through center for Lindholm. Chases in, leaves it for Kachuk. Kachuk shoots, and that deflects high, and the puck goes over the glass. As we're into the final minute of play in the first, Flames have been putting on the pressure and have the only goal in a 1 0 lead on Sportsnet. In the stands, they always make the game better. That is what Buds do. Flames fans in attendance tonight. Great to see. Well, they're happy with what they're seeing so far. Calgary's had the edge in this game, Greg, up 1 0 late in the first on a Johnny Gaudreau goal, and it's been tilted pretty much to the Buffalo end. Yeah, pretty much speed has been the answer for Calgary, and they've been first to lose pucks throughout this period. Face off to the left of Dustin Tokarski. Flames win the draw. Tanev, who picked up the second assist on the Gaudreau goal, plays the puck deep. Broken up by Darlene. He'll go high off the glass. Not out. Tanev keeps it in. Pesic sweeps it to the corner. Stolen by Kachuk with a pass in front. That was blocked by Darlene. And he'll take control, try and shake Gaudreau. Skate the puck to the far side. Hassel by Kachuk. Colleen got it back and flipped it out. Flames on it. Half minute to go. First period of play. By the way, stick around on the first intermission. There's a long pass tipped in because Kelly Rudy is not with us on the trip. We'll be joining Ryan Leslie. Yeah, we miss you, Kel, but Yeah, we do. Trying to fill in and do my best for you while you... Greg Mellon doing a heck of a job. In a relief role, we pulled him out of the bullpen and he's... Out of the bullpen again. Throwing heaters. <laughs> Here's Thompson in. Shoots, and that goes wide. Puck ricochets all the way out, and that will do it. So a good first period for Calgary comes to an end. Johnny Gaudreau gets his 175th career goal, and the Flames have a 1-0 lead through 20 minutes of play in Buffalo. Hockey Central. Carolyn Cameron and company coming up next, and then Ryan Leslie with Kelly Rudy right here on Sportsnet to that great pass from Matthew Kachuk. And hey, Millsy, don't you just love a good pass? <laughs> well, I remember one. Eric Carlson, I was calling this game to Mike Huffman. How about this aerial right over top of everybody, tape to tape, and pass to Karras. That was an unbelievable goal. And tonight, well, not on over. 
everybody type of play, but a tape-to-tape -tape play that was pretty impressive as well as Kachuk finds Johnny Gaudreau. Two unbelievable plays by a lot of skill on the ice. All right, and Gaudreau's goal, the only one so far in this game. The Flames up 1-0, set for the second period faceoff. Rick Ball, Greg Millen in the broadcast booth. Game five, seven-game road trip. But think of Carlson throwing it in the air yeah. over top of everybody and landing it flat right on the tape of Hoffman. I still can't believe that play. That was this one was pretty close, though, to it. Beautiful pass by Kachuk and a great finish by Gaudreau. Sabres on the attack, but Gaudreau on the ice, able to take it away and heads down the right wing with a pass across the block by Kajula. Turns in the corner, pressure down low by Kachuk. Kajula able to fish it free and now with a chance to bring it out. Leads the way through center, dumps the puck into the far side. Hannafin back under pressure, tips it behind the net for Anderson. He'll flip it off the glass to the corner, but Cousins there. Now Kajula puts it in behind to Henestrosa. Anderson leans on him. Coleman tried to fire it around. That was blocked. It winds up back in the feet of Rasmus Anderson. Inestroza makes a play that winds up at the line on Miller's stick with a shot well wide, looking for a tip that never came. Kajula gets to the loose puck. Wrists a roller in high. Anderson on it. Gets it ahead to Kachuk. He'll backhand it across, and Leno will let that go in and head off on a change. A little pushback here by Buffalo in the second period early after a first period which they were dominated by the Flames. Kyle Oposo plays the puck ahead to Cody Eakin, stolen by Backlund. His pass tipped and stolen right back by Giergensen's. Cuts in deep, Backlund, nice play to knock it free. He makes a pass out to Mangiapane, couldn't kick it up to his stick. Sabres put it right back into the Calgary end where Chris Tanev has the puck. And feeds it all the way across to Mangiapane. Dances through center into the zone, swings wide, down low, cuts around, Mangiapane. Stays on it with a play back to Tanev, across now to Shillington. Wrist shot, deflected off traffic, Tanev back in front! They score, Mangiapane on the backhand! Another road goal for Andrew Mangiapane, and the Flames take a 2-0 lead. They had a feeling that you couldn't keep him down that long. Your crystal ball and working well. He's had a little bit of jump in his game tonight as well. He starts the playoff by great puck control behind the net. Look at him, he's high now. What's he going to do? Arrive on time. He's at the middle of your screen, and then, then he files, ends up right in the slot. And Tokarski here is a big guess here, and he guesses the wrong way. Almost gets it with his glove, mind you. And a nice little play by Mangiapane to tuck it in the empty net after the goaltender was down and out. 11th of the season, league leading 10th on the road for Andrew Mangiapane. Skinner cuts it off in the corner, deep in his own zone. Pressure by Lucic. Lucic much bigger, able to knock him down. Skinner makes a play, giving up little Richardson, flips it in front. Lucic had it bounce away. Still loose in the slot. And they whack away at it, pinballing around. Weak shot by Lewis goes wide. <laughs> now it's played back in front dangerously, but Pesic able to tip it away, and it's banked up by Darlene. Jeff Skinner trying to get there, denied by Good Branson. Richardson gets the puck. Smart play by Butcher not to play it, though, as he just stepped off the bench. Would have been too many men, and now it's gloved and hung on to by Tokarski for a whistle. If you can watch Mangiapane here, what he does so well is he'll really lose where he is on the ice in terms of the defenders. He takes the puck. He'll take it to the point. Now watch his route now. He'll go right to the middle of the ice, and then he'll filter himself right down the slot, and there it is. Perfect. He arrives right on time and makes a beautiful play. And how about that pass from Anderson to find him as well? That was a beaut. Often when you come behind the play and time it properly, good things happen yep. like that. And a lot of good things have been happening for number 88 this season. That was a terrific read. Will Butcher back on the puck at the point. Puts it behind the hard to the corner rather. Tip back up the boards. Hayden plays it deep, cut off by Hannafin, and he gives it to Rasmus Anderson. Makes a play to Monaghan. Checked at center. Sabres settle it down. Butcher over to Robert Haig. On the wing to Bjork. Bjork shoots, and that's off Hannafin's stick high and wide. Far side, Pesic carries in deep, try to put it in front, cut off by Markstrom. Bounces free to Dubé. And bring it to the line and out with a pass ahead to Tyler Pitlick who dumps the puck in. Pesic back, Pitlick bumps him on the end boards. Pesic gets it over to Rasmus Dahlin. 
And he hits Vinny, Vinny Hennis, throws in full stride. Pass across, shot high. Markstrom may have got a piece of it off the stick of Cousins on a nice rush by Hennis, throws it to set up that chance. Johnny Gaudreau on the puck. He's had jump again tonight, works the puck in. Kachuk takes a look down the boards, trying to cut through, taken away. Kajula lifts it out. Bouncing puck at the line, Tanev there, pressure, puck rolls free, and it's shot wide of the goal. Weird play, and a chance again for Cousins, and he put that one wide. Henestrosa tries a shot, that's off a leg, ricochets across, Miller swats it deep. Shillington leans on Kajula, now the flames break out. Tanev joins the rush with a play to Kachuk, all the way across to Gaudreau, bouncing puck, try to get it through to Linholm. Linholm stays in the battle along the boards. Jurgensen's pressure by Gaudreau. Lindholm comes in to help out. Henestrosa makes a play, and the puck's finally cleared to center. Stolen by Backlund. Now Gaudreau on the other side with a shot, and that's off Tukarski's glove wide of the goal. Gaudreau late in his shift, steps off the ice onto the bench to finish that change, and the Sabres clear the zone to the Calgary Blue Line. Approaching the five-minute mark here in the second. Backlund on the attack. His pass broken up by Eakin. Puck comes free right to Bryson. Plays it up the wing to Kyle Oposo. Tried to dump it in. Lost the puck, put it in. But by that point, Eakin had stepped in offside. One of the bright spots for the Buffalo Sabres will be Cousins. He's going to be an excellent player in this league, a high draft pick. And he gets a couple of nice looks here after some real strong speed down the wing by Henestrosa. And there's the chance, the first one. And then there's the second one right here, and that, I'm not so sure that there was the save was made on that or not, but two pretty good looks as the boys look at it on the bench to see what happens. Seventh overall pick, 2019, out of the Lethbridge Hurricanes. First ever first round pick in the NHL out of the Yukon Territories from Whitehorse. Shot by Coleman wide. Puck comes around. Sabres cough it up. Here's Backlund, shoots, and that whistles high. Off the glass, Hannafin in deep for Mangiapane. Cut off down low by Tage Thompson. Clears the zone to center. Flames are on it. Tip back to Rasmus Anderson. Calgary's puck support tonight much better than in Philadelphia. Speed. Yep. All over the ice. They are, every time the Sabres get even the chance of receiving a pass, there's a red shirt right on top of them. Another big edge has been in faceoffs. In the first period, they want 10 to 12. Sabres are the worst face-off team in the league, and Philadelphia one of the best. Yeah, they've had the puck a lot more off the yep. draws tonight, for sure. Lucic rumbles up to center ice. Now Lewis, just inside the line, plays the puck to the far corner, bounces free to Skinner. Can't catch it. Richardson kept it in, put the puck towards the goal, broken up by Butcher. He's pressured. Kept on side by Tanev. Down low for Lewis. In behind to Lucic. Let's it go free to Brad Richardson. Knocked down. Falls into Haig. They both go down. And meantime, Butcher is able to make a play. And find Hayden, who plays the puck into the Calgary end. Marks him out. Puts the puck to the far side. Bjork puts it up the boards, but Monaghan there to steal. And now Dubé works the puck in. He'll chase it down leave it for Monaghan. Waiting for support to come off the bench. Back to Zadorov with a shot, and he whistled that wide. Good Branson steers one on goal, and Tokarski takes that up high and hangs on. 13-12 to go, second period. Andrew Mangiapane with his 11th. Flames up 2-0 on Sportsnet. Two nothing Flames. Andrew Mangiapane, Greg, has been a road warrior for Calgary this season. He has been just terrific, and ten of his eleven away from home. Incredible, really. And uh, I know the color guy has been so impressed with Anderson's game. I think I gave him an assist that he didn't get. It was Tanev with the <laughs> terrific pass. So my mistake, and give Tanev credit because that was a beauty. Tanev has two helpers in this game, and the Flames up by a two nothing score. Seven minutes gone here in the second. And they win the draw in the offensive zone. Good Branson quickly across to Zadorov. Here's Pitlick. Pressure at the line. Gets it in deep to Dubé. Monaghan comes in. Round the boards to Good Branson. Throws one in wide. Bounces free on the far side. Hayden's there. He'll lift it out. Roller at center. Monaghan drops it back to Zadorov. Off the boards. Not out. Kept on side. No, it wasn't. Looked like they might have kept it in. Sabres protest a little. 
seem to be too much complaining on the ice so these officials the linesmen you know nine out of ten or even more than that they are on the they're right they're incredible they take a lot of heat but they're the best in the world it's a tough game to officiate it moves so fast I mean I don't sometimes you have to get out the electron microscope slow it down to snail's pace just to see it on replay well, well we do that once in a while just to make them look bad. <laughs> yeah <I know. laughs> try in real time at ice level yeah exactly lift it out Rasmus Anderson goes back to it long pass up the wing to Kachuk tips one in on Tokarski he'll leave it for passing carried through center ice now by Cousins with a shot that whistles wide chopped at by Anderson Kajula races in to help out. Now Pesic on the half board. Pressure. Hannafin's there. Kajula gets the puck. Retreats back to the line. Wings one towards the goal. That misses. Here's Kajula again. He's had some jump on this ship. Played across. Tip to the far side. Pesic's in deep again. Back to the line to Hinnestroza. And finally, snagged and hung on to by Jacob Markstrom. Yeah, one of the reasons why Calgary's had so much zone time is the way they've been able to get into the Buffalo zone. And they've just been able to carry it in with their speed. Buffalo's really backed off the line, and that's allowed them to gain entry. And then they've actually come up with the odd stretch pass as well, Calgary, which again has backed them up. And there's the beauty. And Goodrow makes no mistake in the first period for the first goal of the hockey game. Backland wave, Coleman in to take the draw against Tage Thompson. Who wins it for Buffalo right back to the line shot from the point didn't get through hit traffic in the circle back one on the puck his pass tipped stolen Asplund got it got it down low to Thompson sharp angle stopped by Marks from rebound shoveled high and wide on Giapani there and now it's Shillington with a bank pass to Backlund he'll bring it out Coleman's pass deflected away Thompson Asplund checked Haig follows up Skinner with the dump in and Markstrom will stop that and make a pass to Shillington, who finds Backlund ahead to Mangiapane, tips it deep. Good chase. Comes together with Butcher. Mangiapane gets the puck loose, try to get it in front off the side of the goal and broken up by Buffalo. Thompson through the neutral zone. Chasing the puck to the corner, sharp angle, kicked away by Markstrom. And Zadorov will bank it out. Played right back in. Backlund there to take control. Out to Lucic. Down the wing. Milan Lucic. Throws a shot on goal. Deflected right in front by Lewis. And Tukarski got a piece of that. That was a sneaky play. With lots of traffic in front of the Buffalo Netminer. Richardson and Lewis. Eating time in the offensive zone. Tying the puck up in behind the net. Now it squirts free to the corner. Gierkins is there. Penalty coming up to Calgary. And as a Sabre player was knocked down. And that'll be the first penalty for either team. Tripping the call. And it comes just shy of the midway mark of the hockey game. And Buffalo might want to decline this. They have had such a problem on their power play. Penalty number 15. Minor penalty tripping. Against the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Penguins had seven shots. When they had the power play. Being... The Buffalo Sabres. Seven short-handed short -handed shots. Short-handed shots. As we have a peek at the penalty. There it is. And Richardson in the box for two or less. So Don Granado this morning was talking about it, about the power play, and he said, you know, we got to start thinking like five on five on the power play. First of all, we've got to get puck possession and then just simplify everything and throw pucks to the net. Win the faceoff. That's the first key for a good power play, and they do that as Darlene walks it across. There's a postal with the shot, and that whistles wide. They have been tipped. Oh. Somebody in the slot. Puck battle on the boards. All the way across, a postal gets to it. Good Branson hustles over. Banked around. Protected by Thompson. Not out of trouble yet, but gets it back to Darlene. A postal again. Takes Thompson shoots. Stopped by Markstrom. Got the left leg on that one. Thompson gets the puck back. To the line of Darlene. Oposo. Gergensen goes to the front of the goal. Here's Darlene. Oposo shoots, and that was blocked. He gets it right back. Oposo in tight. Stopped by Markstrom. Rebound scooped up. Not cleared. Sabres get it back. Keep the pressure on. Oposo again. Passing right to Lindholm. And he's able to clear the zone. And 
Calgary will change up on the PK. Much better there for the Sabres. They're two for 22 their last eight games. And 0 for 13 their last four, but good start to that power play midway through it. Asplund feeds it across. Dumped into the zone. Puck battle down low. Comes free along the boards to Miller. Flips it in behind. Batted around to the other side for Skinner. Pressured. Stolen. Coleman gets it out. Good play to Lewis. And he'll flip one in wide and chase after it himself. He forces Bryson towards the corner. And that allows the Sabres to break out. Roots the line with a pass on the wing. Gets it back. Trying to cut in front. Comes free. Batted away by Markstrom. And the puck's played all the way around. And that'll go all the way down the ice. 20 seconds left in the Brad Richardson penalty. Past the 11-minute mark in the second period. Sabres long pass up the far wing. Dropped off by Kajula to Cody Eakin. Eakin tries a shot. That goes off the leg of Erica Branson and flames clear. And yeah, that'll another, do it. Another good block. Three shots on that power play. Brad Richardson steps out of the penalty box. Back to five on five. Worked in by Darlene. Cody Eakin. Pressured by Shillington. That's Richardson. Took a pretty good hit in the corner. Penalty coming up, though. That's going to draw a reaction from Zadorov, and then everybody comes in. Not been an overly physical game, but Brad Richardson took a pretty good shot in the back because he had the puck in the corner, and the Flames, assuming there are no more penalties, will I, get their first power play. I don't. I think Zadorov might get it as well. We'll see. They, the official was pointing that me. Well, certainly there's going to be one penalty. It looks like he's okay. So there's going to be a power play. From what we can tell here, coming up for the Calgary Flames on an awful looking hit that draws the attention of the Calgary Flames. For boarding, Flames get their first power play of the night. Yeah, I mean, he's saying right now to the ref that Richardson turned, but I mean, he didn't. I mean, this is just a play where he just comes in right on the numbers, bang. And an easy call for the official. Zadorov, look at the big boy come in. <laughs> just make sure that uh, there was a message sent. So Calgary's power play looking to add to this 2-0 lead here in the second period. Flames 1 for 11 their last five. Want to get their power play going a bit. And we'll start with their top unit here. Lindholm out with Kachuk, Monaghan, Gaudreau, and Anderson. One thing the Sabres do pretty well, they chase on the, the half wall. So you're, if you move it quickly, you should be able to catch the penalty killers when Buffalo does that. They're pretty aggressive in that area. Sabres win the faceoff. Haig gets the puck, flips it to Pesic. Over to Giergensen's, and he'll find space to clear it all the way down. Rasmus Anderson winding up towards his own line with a bump back to Gaudreau. Up the wing to Monaghan. Gains the zone, tipped away. Good play, Pesic. He'll clear. Flames power play sits 10th in the league at 22.4%. Penalty kill for Buffalo, 17th, 81.4. And number four, Rasmus Anderson on the attack. Now Monaghan around the boards for Kachuk, tips it back. Fed over by Lindholm, stolen, shorthanded chance the other way, potentially. Asplund shoots, marks from save. Flames on the rebound. Fired right back in, but caught offside was Asplund and the faceoff will come outside the Calgary blue line. Yeah, no, no puck support at all for the Calgary Flames on this first power play unit. And everybody was trying to do it themselves. Monaghan tried to take the puck and do it by himself. Off the rush they did, and that created the counterattack here and a good chance shorthanded for Buffalo. So the second power play unit comes out in a hurry after Daryl Sutter didn't like what he saw in the first unit. Sabres win the draw, dump the puck in. Midway through this penalty to Kajula. As we approach 13 minute mark here in the second period. Noah Hannafin. Now Backlund, pass tipped, stays in. Hannafin shovels the puck towards the goal, deflected wide, but gloved by Tokarski anyway, and he hangs on. Yeah, the save, when they've been entering the zone, Calgary, it's been a solo mission, and that's why they've had some difficult time, and Buffalo's done a real nice job. And as the penalty, kill, penalty killers have hunted down the pucks in the neutral zone quite well. Now they're set up Let's against Eakin, and the Flames get the puck off the draw, and that's a good start, but then it's copped up by Shillington, who bobbled the pass. And now carried in by Eakin, checked neatly by Shillington, fed to center ice. 
Lucic plays it over. Mangiapane dumps the puck in. Final half minute of the power play. Sabres clear. Top unit back on. One last look on the man advantage. Hannafin with a dump in around the glass. Kachuk and Anderson right by each other. Anderson battling. Kachuk can't settle it down, and it's clear down the ice. And that might do it. Lindholm racing back. Maybe one more rush with the extra man for Elias Lindholm, who winds up out of his own zone. On the wing to Johnny Gaudreau. Gaudreau, here's Kachuk, shoots, scores! Matthew Kachuk rips one home. And the Calgary Flames make it 3 nothing just as the penalty expired. It's not a power play goal, but a great finish and a nice setup for number 19. Funny how it works, huh? A total two minutes of disjointed hockey by the Flames on the power play. Then the skill boys get back on the ice. They gain the, the blue line, and here's just a beautiful pass in Kachuk with that unbelievable finish as Gaudreau finds him on the far side. And it's a terrific pass. And boy, these two have really combined tonight, haven't they? And there it is, a ripper right over top of Tokarski. And the Flames suddenly, after not having one chance on the power play, <laughs> is all they needed. And now they go offside. The Sabres do at the Calgary blue line with 5.57 to go in the second period. Calgary with a 3-0 lead. Matthew Kachuk picks up his eighth goal of the season. Tell us Flames hockey on Sportsnet. Johnny Gaudreau with the setup on Matthew Kachuk's goal and Gaudreau climbing the Flames ladder in terms of points and assists. You look there, he now sits in sole possession of sixth place all-time Calgary Flame assists ahead of Guy Schwinnard and Paul Reinhardt. So he's also, let's see, in the game now, he came in eighth all-time points, too, at 5'10". So... And that will continue to improve because it's spectacular. He has a lot of jump. Boy, oh boy. Fun to watch. He was great in Philly and has been nearly as good tonight, even though he might have had more opportunities against the Flyers. He has a goal and an assist in this game, and the Flames are up 3 0 with 5.43 to go in the second period. You know, pretty special for Flames fans to watch him. I mean, I'd go to a game just to watch him alone. That was. He does so many unbelievable things with the puck at a high tempo. And he's playing keep away again tonight as the opposition just can't get the puck off him. Skinner bumps it back. Darlene, long pass for Skinner, but Thompson actually touched it on the way by and Skinner couldn't take it. Deflected it away. Now Coleman brings the puck out with a pass on the wing to Mangiapane. He has one of the goals tonight. Passes across to Coleman. Coleman puts it behind to Kachuk in front from Mangiapane just out of his reach as he had to go to the backhand. And Skinner able to take control and make a play to Darlene who carries in. Asplund trying to cut in front, denied. Bouncing puck, Thompson never saw it. Now it's a two-on-one the other way. Mangiapane with Backlund. Mangiapane, Backlund, Mangiapane scores! Beautifully executed two-on-one. Another goal for Andrew Mangiapane. And it's 4-0 Calgary. This is a work of art, and it all starts from a giveaway in the Buffalo zone in terms of a pitch. They get caught. How do they end up with a two-on-one when they're just a straight break? And I'm not quite sure, but this is a tic-tac-toe play and a beauty. One pass, and that breaks the Calgary Flames out into a two-on-one. And a little give and go, and back it comes, and a beautiful play by Backlund to turn the puck back over. Tamangiapani as he tucks it in the empty four by six for his second. So Mangiapani second of the game, 12th of the year. And then in the ensuing faceoff, Matthew Kachuk got taken down. And going to the box is Anders Bjork. So Calgary will go on the power play for the second time in the period. And, and just off the draw, they dropped it in a hurry. Bingo. Wow. That's just trying to lift the stick and missed. And Kachuk seems to be okay. I guess for once in his life, he had his mouth guard in his mouth instead of chewing on it. <laughs> Mom will be happy with that. <laughs> yeah, she will. Save those chicklets. Flames over for one. They did score just as the other power play came to an end, but it was a five-on-five five goal. And we'll go to work here with a, a comfortable four-zip lead on the road. 
There's Kachuk with a plate of Lindholm, and it got away. And of course, is Rasmus Anderson back into his own zone. There's Gaudreau, pass tipped. Gaudreau gets it free and back on it. All the way across to Kachuk. Turning, tight quarters. Finds Monaghan in front to Gaudreau, and he scores! What a pass by Monaghan. All Gaudreau had to do was tap it into the open net. Gets his second of the game. 5-0 Flames. This has turned ugly for Buffalo. I mean, they have completely lost their defensive structure, and this is, again, great puck movement, easy entry into the zone. And it's just a two-on-one low. The defense goes way too high. That creates a two-on-one. No stick in the passing lane at all. And a gift here is Goodrow just kind of sneaks in, stick on the ice, Monahan with a perfect pass back. No chance for Tokarski there. I mean, that you can't fault the goalie on that, baby. Sixth of the season, second tonight for Goudreau. The goal with his assist, and the Flames are in complete control in Buffalo. Sabres denied entry, and then Lucic runs into Cousins, and now they put the puck in offside. Ryan. Well, Rick, you can catch all your favorite WWE stars at the WWE Survivor Series Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on the WWE Network. And oh, yeah, brother, we got to go one on one with uh, Rob Ray coming up in the intermission. Yeah, one of the tougher characters to ever put on skates in the NHL. Now the analyst for the Sabres television broadcast. And he would have fit right into the WWE. He could toss them, crush a few guys. <laughs> And he'll join Ryan between periods. Looking forward to that. Speaking of tough guys, there's Lucic dropping it off to Zadorov. Finds Trevor Lewis. Slowly through center. And plays the puck around. Lucic lets it slide free to Backlund. Back to Lucic. Backlund tips the puck to Shillington. Tana in front, deflected, and that one off the leg of Hey, bouncing puck, still loose. And now it's stolen by Vinny Hinestrosa. He hits Drake Kajula. And Tana just took the puck away, and long pass to Mangiapane. Drops it off to Coleman, shoots off the stick of Butcher. That broke his stick, but the puck went wide. Butcher takes the stick from Eakin. Puck to the line to Schillington with a shot, and Tokarski makes the save. As we're inside three minutes to go in the period. Puck cleared out by the Sabres. Tanev right back on the attack. Took a pretty good hit by Gergensen as he dumped the puck in, but Tanev popped right back up. Pass in front for Coleman from Mangiapane is broken up. Well, he's falling everywhere, and the Sabres bring it out. Well, they're they're going to give Calgary a penalty for that. There was a trip on that play. I think Coleman is the one who's going to head off for the second time in the period. Calgary penalty, number 20. Two minutes for tripping. And I got to give Blake Coleman a break. It was says, actually who tripped Brad, who? Brad Richardson took the penalty earlier in the period, not Blake Coleman. But either way, he's going to the box. Who tripped who is what he's saying. And there's the first play, and there's the trip, and then <laughs> down went Backlin afterwards. <laughs> Coach doesn't like it either much. The Sabers get their second power play, obviously over one. Tanev fires one all the way down. Tokarski will stop that side of the goal, leave it for Rasmus Dahlin. Put the pass in the feet of Tage Thompson. A two on one goal. Thompson didn't see the puck, it was in the air. He was inside the Calgary line, landed. He didn't know where it was, and the Flames got away in the odd man rush. And that beautiful play by. Back with Amanciapani. It's still hard to believe you can break out like that, though, and end up with a two-on-one from your own zone in a five-on-five -five situation. I mean, yeah. I, I, it was a weird play. Yeah, absolutely. But still. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with you. Where's the agree. puck support? Yeah. And then it's a nice passing by the Flames in that play. There's a shot by Miller that goes off Rasmus Anderson off the end boards and right to Markstrom and he hangs on. And to, and to be fair, Don Granato's got a big task here right now in this Buffalo Sabre organization. Clearly, without any question, they're in a huge rebuild. They've got a lot of nice young players. You heard Ryan talk about that a little bit. And they've got a couple on the ice, like a kid like Cousins. Thompson looks like he's going to be okay. 
Darlene's going to come. So they're, they're getting there, but they got a ways to go. And tonight is one of those nights where they just haven't had anything going, really. And give Calgary credit. Well, it, they'll get Alex Tuck in the lineup at some point. He's coming yeah. off offseason sh shoulder surgery. Came over in the trade from Vegas for Eichel. Peyton Krebs is a Calgary native. He's in the minors right now, but, you know, pretty good prospect as well for them. So it'll help. There's another two on one. There nope, is shorthanded. Here comes Dubé trying to pass. Fan off the heel of his stick. Skinner took it away. 40 seconds left in the power play. Asplin put it in off a Calgary stick. Puck kicked up the boards. Mangiapane trying to get there. Bryson pinching down. Flames get it. Break out. Another odd man rush on the PK. Final minute of the period. Here's Mangiapane for the hat trick. And Tokarski came across into the old two pad stack to make that save. We've seen a couple of those on this trip, Bilzi. They know you're in the building, clearly. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> two, two nights. <laughs> Sabres on the puck. Did you notice they both worked, by the they way? They did just, work. Just saying. Galeen check. Power play comes to an end. Calgary's killed off both Buffalo man advantages and are in control on this one with a half minute to go in the second. Tipped in deep. Ten into it. Chris Tannen will try this side. Puck kept on side momentarily. Now Pitlick able to get it out. Batted in by Coleman. Controlled by Robert Haig. Cody Eakin down the wing. Hennis Rosa tries a shot. The love by Markstrom. And he hangs on as the horn sounds. And period number two, a very good period for Calgary, comes to an end. And a very good period for trip to Buffalo, enjoying a 5 nothing lead after 40 minutes. And, you know, you got to feel for these Buffalo Sabres. They've seen some stars come through and a steady dose of the stars. As you can see, some of the big duos going off against the Sabres. And uh, speaking of those Sabres, Buffalo making a goaltending change as uh, Airdrie's Aaron Dell checks into the game. Guys? All right, Ryan, thank you very much. Dustin Tokarski goes out after giving up five on 23, and Dell will finish this one up with his team down 5 nothing to a motivated Flames team that has played very well, and the score would indicate that, Greg. It's been a superb 40 minutes for Calgary. Yeah, right off the start, you could tell they had jump in their game, and they've taken advantage of this young Sabre team in the first two periods. Period three is underway. Giveaway at center ice, stolen by Asplund, who backhands a shot on goal. Markstrom kicks that over to Kachuk. Ahead to Gaudreau, stolen. Here's a shot. That's deflected by Hannafin. Got a stick in the way of that shot by Cousins, and the puck goes out of play. And as I mentioned for the Sabres, I think Cousins is probably one of their better players on the ice tonight. Lots of skill, lots of potential, good size as a center iceman. He's going to be a dandy uh, as his career begins to develop. And he'll take the face off against Backlund. He gets waved. Manchupani with a couple of goals in this game steps in, wins the draw. Tanev up the boards to Backlund to the line, not out. Kept on side by Pesic. Played in deep to Asplund. Flip back. Pesic hustles over. Asplund again. Pressured by Coleman, who gets the puck free and finds Manchupani. In for Coleman racing down the wing. Backlund there throws it out front. Tanev turns, takes a look, doesn't shoot, passes to Mangiapane instead. He shoots, knocked down by Dell. Rebound, Backlund chipped it wide. And the puck's in the corner. Cousins gives it to Dahlin and he'll put it up the boards. Cut off by Tanev. Dahlin again, and he clears. Right to Markstrom, who sweeps it over. I think it'll be a lot of pucks deep and short shifts for the Flames. They've played a ton. They've got a busy week, and they are right back at it on Saturday on Long Island. They open up the brand-new arena on Long Island. The Islanders finally back home after starting with 13 straight road games. Yeah, that'll be fun, won't it? Let's see what that's all about. I heard it's spectacular. Looking forward to that. It'll be the UBS Arena, and you and I will be doing that game on Hockey Night Canada. Can't wait. And then they finish off this trip in Boston on Sunday. So this is a start of three and four. Here's Brad Richardson in. Shot by DeBranson off a stick. Puck over the glass and into the netting.
And Zadorov got a little shaken up on that last play, just coming out of the zone and got banged into the uh, boards. Looks like more than anything else, he's just getting his shield cleaned up and yeah, he's favoring his head a little bit there on the bench, his neck. As he went in and very awkwardly and was pushed into the boards by the Sabre player. Puck battle down low, batted ahead. Kajula takes off and has a bit of room as he wheels on the left side. But a good play by Dubé to come back and knock it free. And here go the Flames back the other way. Carried in by Tyler Pitlick. Stops, feeds it back. Rasmus Anderson shoots off the post. Over the glove of Dell and rang it off the iron as Anderson was looking for his first of the season. Came that close. Pitlick back in. Swings wide. Chopped at by Haig. They go to the corner. Sabres take control. And it's chipped out by Hinnestroza. Flames are back on it. Fired in by Tanev. Rasmus Dahlin to Hayden. Into the Calgary zone. Rolls right of the goal. And that'll be an icing call on Buffalo. First good chance of the period for the Flames. Again, they get easy entry into the zone. And everything but in on that one. A good hard shot. Anderson walks right into it. Dell, not a big goaltender. So there is some room available up top. And there certainly was on that chance. Aaron Trell, Dell, the Airdrie native. Played university hockey at University of North Dakota after time with the Calgary Canucks in the Alberta Junior League. Signed a free agent deal from New Jersey in the summer. Kachuk trying to spring Gaudreau. This time it's picked off by Pesic. And he fires a long shot on Markstrom. And Markstrom able to hang on. This period brought to you by the Toyota Corolla family. Hatchback, sedan, and hybrid. So what's the mindset when you're up 5-0 going into the third period on the road? Good habits. Because you want to make sure your habits are in place, your work ethic is there, because if you come up with a poor pe uh, period, often that sort of bleeds into the next game you're going to play. So you know Sutter, that was the certainly the message between periods, just to keep going, good habits, finish the game properly. Sabres fire a pass out. Cousins works it in. Asplund checked, taken away by Good Branson, drops it off for Michael Backlund. His pass into the feet of Mangiapane bounces to center. Coleman rides his man to the boards, and here's a chance to door off. Right in! Passing over, and it's chipped on goal by Mangiapane. Couldn't get a clean shot away, but turned aside by Dell as Mangiapane looking for the hat trick. And Zadorov tried to get it to him. Miller. Knocked away. Anderson. Backlund. Here's Coleman. Across to Hannafin. Hannafin. Mangiapane stopped by Del Rebound. Del stopped that too. Was going wide, but it bounced off his stick. Coleman. Mangiapane. Flames looking for that sixth goal here. Played back in front into the feet of Dell, and he scrambles to cover up as Calgary's buzzing around that Buffalo net. And Mangiapane gets so close to getting the hat trick here as he was in position eight. And Dell with a couple of good saves, and then the second one even better on Hannafin. There's the first save, bang, and comes right back to Hannafin. Oh, and somehow Dell is able to reach back as that bouncing puck is on its way into the net. And Mangiapane, what a save that was. With the first good chance. Eight shots for Andrew Mangiapane in this game. Two goals. And counting. Yep. Rasmus Anderson to it. Behind it at the Brad Richardson. Out front, they jab away. Puck stays out. Scooped up. Settled down by Tage Thompson. He'll bump it back. Will Butcher there. Skates the puck to the near side and clears. Hannafin. Trying to play it back to Anderson off the mark. He'll chase deep into his own end. Across to Hannafin. Up the boards for Lucic. And now it bounces back. Hannafin's there again. Lucic. His cross ice pass tipped by Thompson. Stolen by the Sabres. Poso able to work it over the line. He's turning along the boards. Anderson on him. Thompson follows up. 
Shattered by Hannafin. Played back to the line to Dahleen. Long wrister. Didn't get there. It was blocked in front by Richardson. Puck falls free. Sabres regain control. Pesic left it. And here goes Dubé. Slow it down. And then put it in deep. Or it's picked up by Monaghan. Monaghan forced back to the line. We'll whip it back down the boards. That's intercepted by Thompson. Makes a long pass out to Henestrosa. Lifts the puck in for Kajula. Muscle to the corner by Shillington. Puck played around. Pitlick going over to it. Leaves it in the corner. Gets some help, but it's stolen. Backhand shot blocked. Second chance stop. Puck pinballing around. And it winds up in the corner. Sabres back on it. There's a wrister from the line by Bryson that never got there. Monaghan will play it back into his own zone. Buffalo trying to keep the pressure on. Now pass for Kachuk off the mark, but it clears out the center ice. Flip back in on goal. Turn aside by Markstrom. Lino ahead to Kachuk. In with Gaudreau, who takes the pass. Johnny Gaudreau shoots up high on Daly, makes the save. Kachuk put it back to Zadorov, quickly across. Good Branson, here's Gaudreau again. Gaudreau in front, looking for Lindholm, stick tied up. Good Branson shoots, and that whistle's wide. Haig on the loose puck, checked by Gaudreau. Comes up the boards to Bjork, back to Haig, and he'll clear it out. Dells look very sharp in this third period for the Sabres. I think they got to use him more. I mean, he's got a lot of experience, had some pretty good years for the San Jose Sharks. Sabres have Craig Anderson as well, but he's hurt right now, the 41-year-old. So Dell and Tokarski have been their two goalies for a bit here. Flipped out to Cody Eakin. He'll dump it in. Just past the seven-minute mark on the third. Four-goal outburst by the Flames. Built this 5-0 lead. And that's where we sit. Calgary trying to steer this one home. Another dangerous pass with Aspen sniffing around, but he got away with it. And now Anderson finds Backlund. Here comes Coleman in. Shoots, and that's off a stick. Dahlin able to tip that high. Cousins picks it up. Bouncing puck at the line. Kept on side. Just Mangiapane again in front this time. Try to pass to Backlund. Broken up by Dahlin. Cousins checked again at the line. Here's Mangiapane one more time. Drops it off. Shot stopped by Dell. As leaning into that one was Coleman. Dell's able to hang on. Lindholm's had a wonderful year offensively, but he does so many little things on the ice for you. How about this little play here to gain puck possession? He advances the puck up, and then the Calgary Flames get a good chance and have some considerable zone time in the Buff Buffalo end zone. Time for the major part of the game, and it's brought to you by Napa Auto Parts, parts that make the difference. That's Napa know-how, and there have been a lot of major parts tonight, but let's focus on Andrew Mangiapane, who's got a couple of goals tonight and is not only focused on a successful season with the Flames, but perhaps getting a call from Hockey Canada. A lot of talk as he continues to put his name on the radar of Hockey Canada for the men's Olympic team upcoming in February over in Beijing. So we will see how this plays out, but guys, he is certainly making a name and making a case. And the Flames almost making it 6-0. Thank you, Ryan. That shot by Lewis tipped off the crossbars. Two crossbars in this period. One by Rasmus Anderson, the other by Trevor Lewis. Oposo's pass broken up by Zadorov. There's Lewis. Pass deflected away. Giergensen's trying to work it in. Zadorov back to it. Richardson there to help. Oposo puts his foot in the way. And now gets the puck back to the line for Miller. Put shot, and that's wide. Eakin trying to get it in front. Broken up by Zadorov. Cody Eakin's back on it. Zadorov kicks that three to the line, and finally chips it out. Treating with the puck is Bryson. Drops it back into his own zone. Miller has to chase with Lucic in pursuit. He throws a hard hit on Miller, and he goes down in a heap. He's not getting up very quickly. Yeah. Wow. Slowly back to his feet. And now the Flames back in, but offside. Actually, Calgary caught with too many men on the ice. So that'll be a penalty on the Flames, and Buffalo goes on the power play. And Lucic with the big 
big hit as well. Oh, sorry, Greg. I thought the official was signaling too many men, but it was an offside call, so we stay five on five. As Anderson dumps the puck in, hangs on it. Here's Monahan. All the way around Erasmus Anderson. His partner didn't help you much there. I was looking at the monitor trying to <laughs> see the hit. There's Hannafin in front, bouncing around. Anderson trying to get there, chipped away, but trying to keep it on side. Now it's muscled out to center, and it's scooped up there by Cousins. Denied entry. No. Let's play it in. Butcher back. One thing the Flames have done so well in this game, their first pass has been crisp, and that has trapped the Sabres. I don't know how many times into man advantage breaks right from their own zone, and that's been really the difference in this game. Right from the very start with that stretch pass from Kachuk. To Gaudreau, open the scoring, one nothing. beautiful setup, partial break, and it just kept going. I mean, I don't yeah, know how many times right. one pass would be a three on two. One pass, two on one. Really trapping. The Sabre forwards who are out of position on these particular situations. Gaudreau tips it across. Tanev will get to it. Long pass up the wing for Kachuk. Dell out to play it. Pessing. And that might be icing. It is. Now we're going to catch up to this hit because Lucic has been doing this the entire road trip. In fact, the entire season. How would you like this guy coming at you? Oh. That's just a big time hit. Bang once again. Uh, Lucic skates off. Miller was slow to get up, and, made his way uh, to the bench. And, and Miller ducked, which was not a good idea. <laughs> and that made it right. worse. And, and Lucic even let up a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's 230 pounds plus coming at you. Coming at you. I guess the natural tendency is to duck a little bit, but sometimes that makes it worse. Sabres dump it in past the midway mark of the third. Blake Coleman down the wing. We'll just chip it in on goal. Dell elects to hang on, and we will take a break. 9 12 to go. It's all Calgary in this one. They're up 5 0. Tell us Flames Hockey on Sportsnet. Play of the game brought to you by Safeway, proud partner of the Calgary Flames. Well, this is an easy one, isn't it? The Kajuk, Kachuk pass. Look at this play. Right through the middle. Good drill protects the puck so well and how he got that puck up so high when his hands were so close together that takes a lot of strength and skill and not only does he get it up he rattles it almost off the crossbar. I mean it's way up over the top in the top shelf. What a goal that was and these two combined to, to give us a lot of thrills tonight in this game. They've, They've been, been very both good. Very good. So Gaudreau has two goals and a helper. Kachuk has a goal and two helpers and the Flames have a 5 nothing lead. Not bad. That'll work. There's Backlund. Batted down in the corner. Bryson able to get it out to a poso, feeding it across for Eakin too far. Rasmus Anderson down the wing. Long shot on Dell. Blocker save. Rebound to the corner. A poso checked. Backlund steals. Shot by Mangiapani. Partially fanned on. They have gone off the defenseman Bryson too. Flames are back on it. Mangiapane's been sniffing around for that hat trick goal. He has one hat trick in his career. Backlund again. Mangiapane in front. Couldn't get the shot through. Pass bounced around, and then by the time he got let it go, Bryson was in the way. And the Sabres chip it back into the Calgary zone. I really like Backlund's game tonight also. He makes all those quiet, subtle little plays. He set up some goals. He's been excellent on that line. Yeah, moved on to that line with Mangiapane and Coleman. I agree, they play well together. Here's Richardson. He'll dump it in. Lucic racing onto it. Gets there, makes a pass back to the line to get Branson. It crosses it all off. Back to Richardson with a shot of the traffic. Dell Dell makes the save and covers up. It's a lot of little things Backlund does on the ice that are that can make the coach smile from in all different areas. And here's a little play here. Look at this backhand play right to the point. A little subtle play, then he goes right to the net. And he is so good on the boards. And there's another quick pass to Mangiapani that almost works. Backman with an assist in that game, but you're right, he's done so many things tonight. Well, that line's been going. Face off to the right of Dell. Richardson tossed. Lewis steps in. 
against the 6'7 Tage Thompson. Pesic gets the puck. Skinner tips it out. Asplund on it, working in on Zadorov. Dumps it deep. Markstrom comes out to play it. Eric Branson in the corner. Now Lucic. He'll one hand it in and go after it. Pesic says, all right, you go get it, and then I'll fuck I think you. I'd be doing that. <laughs> I'll try for the tie, and then maybe the yeah. puck will jump loose for me. It's not surprising how many defensemen do that. Well, it's actually the smart thing it to is. do. Because you saw what happened to Miller earlier in this period. Well, and it's sometimes you have a better chance of getting the puck as well. Lewis checked. Or pardon me, Pitlick. Trying to get the puck out, couldn't do it. Back to the line. Butcher over to Haig. Haig shoots, stopped. Turned aside by Markstrom. Chopped back to the corner. Tanev's there. In a battle, Monahan into help. Played back to the line to Will Butcher. Takes a look, long shot, turned into a pass, fed out front. Haig shooting, and that's through traffic wide. First real pressure the Sabres have had here in the third period. There's a shot stopped by Markstrom. He's seen enough. And says, I will hang on and we'll get a face off against some fresh legs off the bench. That was shot 21 against Markstrom. He's had a pretty easy night so far. I can't come up with too many situations where he's had to make a 10 beller. He's been steady though and in control. And his rebounds have been excellent, and that was a good example of it there where he just settled things down. A good read by the veteran to get fresh bodies on the ice. Face off one by the Sabres, back to Darlene, chips it off the boards to himself as he works the puck in behind, threw it in front. There's a good save, and another one, two of them by Markstrom as he stones John Hayden from point blank range. Well, there you go. There you are. He, he was he hasn't seen one no. yet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was a good one. And watch how calm he is, just in perfect position, looks around, reads, takes one step, and stays right with it to catch the rebound. Yes, that was an excellent save. Johnny Gaudreau winding up out of his own zone, finds Kachuk, takes a look, back to Gaudreau, that's tipped high, and it just goes over the glass for a whistle. So the beat goes on as this Calgary Flame team will get Probably travel tonight to New York, yeah. big New York, and won't be staying downtown because the game, of course, is out somewhere on the island. We're not really not quite sure where this rink is yet, but we'll find it. Well, it's it's not as far out as Uniondale, the right. old rink, so. Halfway out, I guess. Yep. So here's the question. Is Markstrom going that game? And Vladar on Sunday against the Bruins, or the other way around? We'll see. Meantime, Mangiapane on the attack. Got a shot that was deflected wide by Darlene. I'll tell you the way coaches think in a minute. Here comes a Poso. Marks him up. Off the boards. Back to the Buffalo Blue Line. Coaches seem to like to have the goalies play against their old teams. So if that's the case, with the Lenard against Boston. Yep. Makes sense. Well, we can't go wrong either way. I have a, I have a theory through. about that, but it's not one that most think. So. Did you not like playing your old teams when you were playing? I don't know if you really need the extra pressure, to be honest. Sometimes it's, it's added motivation. Sometimes it can work in reverse where you're trying so hard it doesn't go so well, especially with a young goalie. Good Branson ahead to Lewis. Or the real good ones couldn't care less. They just play. So yeah, that's it's offside. A, it's a bit interesting, and uh, I've often thought about that more than a few times. All right, we'll have to ask Daryl for his thoughts on the weekend. In the meantime, 517 left on this one. Flames up 5 zip on Sportsnet. We're going into two tonight. The Flames have the second best goals against in the National Hockey League at the moment, and one of the reasons is this guy right here, as he has been terrific in the Calgary Flames net right from the very start of the season. Tonight, maybe not so busy, but if you look at his resume at work, still busy enough. And particularly with this last save here where he made a nice little glove save on the rebound. Well, you know, it's interesting. When he was in Vancouver, the numbers showed that he did better when he faced more shots. This team plays differently than the Canucks did when he was there. He's had to play games where he won't see a shot for a while, and you can't argue with the results because he has been fantastic. And, and maybe that was part of the adjustment last year, if you think about it. And it, that's another learned skill as a goaltender. Sometimes it's easier to play the position when you get lots of work in terms of your concentration level. And that's a learned skill. 
Lewis with the dump in. Haig back on the puck. Well, how do you learn five it? minutes to go? Reps. Yeah, like anything. Right? Reps. Yep. Just like your position. The more you do it, the better you get. Reps. Funny how it works. Yep. Not complicated. Hannafin on the puck. I always say that too. You young guys, broadcasters. Hey, what do you? What, what's your advice? Do as many games as you can. It really is. Absolutely. You can't. You can't learn in a book. You can't watch a TED Talks video. You gotta just do it. And think of how many games you did paying your dues to get to where you are today, and that's why you're one of the best, Rick. Oh, thank you, Greg. You get a beer coming tonight for that one, I'll tell you. It's <laughs> the truth. Although you owe me because I bought you soup today. Yeah, finally. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Bryce gets the puck on the way. <laughs> Here's Hayden into the zone. Shoots up high on Markstrom and that misses. Good Branson. Linholm. Feeds it ahead. Pitlick gets it out. Didn't see a post coming. Last second did. They bumped together. Nothing serious. And Pitlick goes to the bench. Three and a half to go. You know it's a 5 nothing game when you start talking about soup. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a real good game yeah. for the Calgary Flames. It has been. Cody Eakin bumps it back. So the Flames off to Long Island to open the new rink with the game against the Islanders Saturday. Buffalo, meantime, will be in New York for their next game. Here's a shot from a sharp angle by Poso. Stopped by Markstrom. Second shot blocked. Third one, Giergensen's glove save Markstrom. He hangs on. Yeah, the Sabres will play the Rangers next. That'll be on Sunday in Manhattan. It's interesting, you know, the, how this game works. The Buffalo Sabres go in and beat Pittsburgh a couple nights a game. They go two to one. How did that happen? Well, the goalie stood in his head. I mean, that's the only reason. And tonight they didn't get the goaltending. And the end result is a Flame team who's been really strong and ready to play in this road game. As we watch Markstrom with another tricky save that he played well. Skinner surveys. Schoenke had the stick knocked out of his hands. Looking for a penalty. Doesn't come. Puck shot down low. Banked out front. Markstrom cut it off. And Backlund gets the puck. Off the boards and out. Haig back. Pullman chasing. Haig turns. Pullman steals in front. That was high. Backlund couldn't knock it down. Skinner bumped by Blake Coleman. Kicks the puck free though and makes a long pass ahead to Asplund. Down the right side, drops it off to Thompson. Pressured by Tanev. And now Backlund finds Coleman, who will skate through center ice. And lift it high into the zone. Backlund stays up. Rest of his line makes to the bench. Buffalo starts to change as well. And it's carrying out is Jacob Bryson. Puts the puck on the wing. A shot blocked. And Lucic cleans up. Turns at the line and fires it across to Hannafin. Inside, two to go in Buffalo. And a 5-0 Calgary lead. I like the way Calgary's the used the whole ice surface tonight, too. They've really gone D to D well. Even the forwards have gone and used the full ice surface when it's available. Here's another example. Well, I thought he was going to go cross ice. He didn't, but it's worked really well for them in this game, and there's been lots of room for them to do it. The Branson's pass tipped away. And a feed out the center broken up by the Flames. I'd be interested in seeing the possession numbers in this game. The Flames have had the puck on their stick a lot. And Daryl Sutter talks about that being your best defense. There's a shot off a stick wide. And he's controlling the puck. And his whole philosophy is if you don't have it, go get it back. And they've done that well. Yep. And again, speed. They've been on the Sabres. Here's another example of it. They've just been all over them throughout the game. Minute Final minute, minute of play, minute. third period. Here's Bjork down the wing. Flips the puck to the corner. Pitlick there. Puck played back to the line. Dahlin. Little pass through to Bjork. Makes a move from the circle with a shot, and that went off a flame wide. Chopped away. Puck winds up in the corner. Play behind the net. Tanev will try the other side off the boards, and out batted down by Dahlin at center ice. As he retreats, shadowed by Dubé, peels off. Hayden dumps it in. Schillington back to it. Ahead to Gaudreau. He'll bump it back. 
Chuck tips it in. Remaining fans in this building, there weren't many to start with, but not happy with the Sabres, but Flames fans really enjoying what they're seeing in this one as Calgary is able to steer home an impressive 5-0 win, a 27 save shutout for Jacob Markstrom, his fifth shutout of the season, and a two-goal game for Mangiapane and two for Johnny Gaudreau as the Calgary Flames look good and knock off the Sabres 5-zip in their first of two meetings this season. Talus Flames Hockey on Sportsnet. Brought to you by Talus, the network that gives back to help connect Canadians in need. Let's make the future friendly. All right, let's take a look at what's coming up on Hockey Night in Canada. It all starts with Hockey Central at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific, 4.30 Mountain. And then a slate of four games on the schedule. The Penguins take on the Maple Leafs. Nashville battling Montreal. We talked about the Flames, the road trip 